Okay, so here's your heads up to this... I don't know whether it's going to be a five minute quickie or whether it's going to be a longer podcast because it's in between. But it's something that was very personal to me, but I wanted to share it with you because I think it will make a difference to the way you communicate with your unconscious mind. And it will make a huge difference, I believe, to the, the results you get, the understandings you have of life and any issues you have or the things you want to do. Have a listen. Don't tell anybody, though. Okay, but you can. You could share it as well. Okay, have a listen after this. Warning, 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 warning. You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hey, how are you doing today? Have you got to stop? Stop now and just have a think? Or do you know? Ah, uh, hey. Anyway, Paul here, your friend, Paul Clough, Personal Development Unplugged Podcast. Breaking down things that are maybe a bit, a little bit complicated into simple things that we can use. And having said that, I realised, I realised the other day that I talk so much about talking to your unconscious mind always going to your unconscious mind, because your unconscious mind knows so much more than you. My unconscious mind knows so much more than me. But we are one, one whole being. And wholeness is a great place. Well, wholeness is the only place to be, I guess. Well, it's not even a guess, Paul. It's a given. But the thing is, I was thinking, I talk about it so often, but have I ever explained how I do it? Talk to my unconscious mind, that is. And I've given... Uh, you the gift of an hypnosis track the one that well it's being with your best friend where you can I think it's about a 20 minute track of hypnosis where you can just be with your unconscious mind your best friend ask questions so that's a great start I thought but I thought whoa 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 Paul let's come back to the beginning if you've got a best friend wouldn't you know their name well, you'd have think so. Well, you'd have thought so. <laughs> There's two of those. <laughs> you, but you would have thought so, wouldn't you? And you see, I can remember way back. And what spurred my memory of this way back is I was doing a webinar. I do two webinars a month for my son's uh, Mind Mastery course. And the participants are in there. It's actually, if you ever want to look at it, and this is not a sales pitch, but Joseph Clough Mind Mastery. It's a wonderful program. Uh, that takes you over a 12-week period to release negative emotions and find what you're looking for, going to the core issue. And I help with that. I do coaching calls, but also I do these Q&A webinars. And I was thinking when I was doing my last one, I wasn't quite sure what type of theme to use. And I, it came to me, this type of theme, that we talk to our unconscious minds. We place so much on our unconscious minds that, you know, it runs our health. It keeps our morals, our values, our memories. It does everything for us for the wonderful positive intention. Even though some of the behaviours are no longer appropriate, it still keeps trying. Never gives up. Never, ever gives up. And that's why I love hypnotherapy, because when we get in touch with the, con the unconscious mind and we get it to understand that it's in conflict with itself, it changes and finds better ways. And knowing that positive intention is absolutely brilliant. It shines. It changes. And people make rapid changes in front of my eyes. And that's what I love about this. But I was thinking, this thing, I talk to unconscious minds daily. I don't know their name, but I talk to them. And I thought, well, I know the name of my unconscious mind. And I thought to myself, well, no one knows how you did it, Paul. And you haven't, well, you've never explained it. You never taught your way of doing it. Because I'm sure there's many, many ways, many, many, many ways, said it clearly, Paul, of getting in touch with your unconscious mind and finding uh, the way that's good to contact, for you to contact and be in connection with your unconscious mind. Because you're connecting anyway, but it's nice with a best friend to do it in a way that's just awesome. And I thought to myself, well, how did I find out about my unconscious mind's name. 
Because it's not Paul. Could could have been, but it's not Paul. Because that would be confusing. I'd be talking to Paul, and it could say, hey, Paul, and I'm Paul, and I wonder who we're talking about. But it wasn't. You see, you have to go back in my mind, my memories, some 19 plus years ago. I was on my practitioner course, my practitioner course for NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. I was desperate to learn, desperate to learn NLP, and I was enjoying it immensely. And I've got got this wonderful set of processes and that, all talking about the unconscious mind, getting the unconscious mind to do this and that, uh, give us indications of what's happening, integrating different conflicts and parts and finding the resources. And then one day in this course, we were sitting... Everyone was sitting down, and the trainer was in front giving giving his little bit of talk for that, that portion of the morning, and said, how would you like to know your unconscious mind to get closer, to maybe have a name? I thought, that's weird. And everyone looked around thinking, this is weird, because never thought about it. And I got excited inside. But anyway, what he did was, he got us to close our eyes, and just imagine sitting alone in a room. And in that room, he asked our unconscious mind to come out, come out in front of us so we could see it, so we could spend some time with it. And then one of the things we we were asked to do was just to go deeper inside, deeper inside our mind and just ask, what is our name? What is our unconscious mind's name? And the thing is, we were going to use it as a process later. And I just sat there quietly and I got, I got something. I don't know how I got it. It wasn't like, hey, Paul, this is my name. It was just like intuitively some words. And it was three words came to mind. I'm going to, sh- I'm going to share them with you in a minute. But I kept them to myself for the time because I started when we came, came back into the room, as it were, and people started talking. We were asking her to share for this process. And people were saying all these wonderful names like, I don't know, it was, you know, you, you get these spiritualist people who have, have spirit guides and they all have these fantastic names. And that's what a lot of these people had, they had fantastic names. There was the Big Bear, the Boogaloo and all this stuff. And, and I thought to myself, well, my unconscious mind, the name that it gave me, isn't this big, wonderful, it's just it's an ordinary name. But the thing is, it felt really special to me. And when we did this process, because I kept it to myself for a little while, and then we started the process, and the process meant that we had to say this name out loud in front of everybody, and then everybody else would welcome it and say, hello, and give the name. And they were doing the big boogaloo and all these wonderful names, and yeah. And I just said my mind, and it came to mind. And I just said, well, my unconscious mind's name, my best friend, is you and I. And he went quiet. And I said, uh, did you not hear me? My, my unconscious mind's name is you and I. You and I. And people looked and thought, I could tell. It was like a resonance. It was resonating within them as well. Because yes, their names resonated with them. But it was just a different way. It was quite weird. And ever since that day 19 odd years ago it's always been there for me you and I when I write in my journal and I'm asking questions I will just ask you and I and the thing is what I, I, I recognized or remembered that in every journal I've written in since that day instead of putting my name in the front of it in case I lost it like a little name tag at school this book belongs to I never I never wrote that I just wrote these words in every journal. And these are the words I wrote. Never alone. Never by myself. Always with myself. You and I. And every time I wrote it in, a, in my journal, it just made that journal seem so much special because it was, you know, one of the vehicles that my unconscious mind speaks to me. And that's why I decided to share this with you. It's personal, but hey, you're my friend. But the thing is, I wanted you to have the opportunity too, to find out your unconscious mind's name, your best friend, if you wanted to. Because it's for me, it was a lovely experience. And it was a lovely experience sharing it with 
the people on Joseph's Mind Mastery course. And I did a little hypnosis track for them. And what I've done is, I've done one for you too. Just a small hypnosis track. It's only about 15, 20 minutes. Where you can just be quiet. You go inside. You sit, lay, be with your best friend, your unconscious mind. And you get to ask. Ask the name of your best friend. Now the thing is, sometimes that name comes straight away. Sometimes you get a feeling. You get a feeling or a sense. And sometimes, because it's only a feeling or a sense, you have to wait a little longer. You have to delve into it. And the words come into your mouth or come into your mind, your internal voice. But you'll know it. You'll know that it's a, it's, it's right because it will resonate with you. It'll, it'll feel right. You know that intuition where it's just things just feel okay, feel comfortable, feel right. Or it may be you don't get anything. And then after, you will. I'm sure you will. Because your best friend is there for you all the time. And then that means when you get that name and you get that connection, that alignment with your best friend, every process that we've done in in these episodes, and you can go back over them. I do suggest you go back over those episodes because uh, there'll be little nuggets of gold in each one that you missed before. Because you'll have learned something that you didn't know then that gives you the foundations to learn something that was hidden, maybe just beyond your your conscious mind and the competency you had back then. And you'll learn, learn even more. But you can do it now by talking to your best friend as you would a best friend, not just asking or telling. You'll be speaking to them in a way that it's just different. To me, it's just totally different. But now it's become, well, I wouldn't be able to, to speak in any other way because it's so natural to me, you and I. And it makes me feel good. Every time those words come out of my mouth or come out of my pen or in my mind, it's like I feel differently. Can't explain it any more than that. I just feel different. And I do feel aligned, whole, even if I've got problems going on in my life. And I do. We all do. No matter how much you know about this stuff, shit happens. But the thing is, I can now talk to my unconscious mind in such a way that I just feel even more confident that things are going to be okay. We're going to get there. Things are happening for a reason. And my unconscious mind is going to learn and do the best for me. So there will be a hypnosis track. If you've signed up for those hypnosis tracks, you will get an email. In fact, you may have had one already. And you'll get that link, the link to to listen to it. If you haven't, if you haven't signed up, what the hell are you doing? (laughs) I didn't mean to say, I hope you found that amusing, amusing. But if you haven't and you want to have that particular track or access to over 40 tracks of hypnosis, so easy. Just go to pauloughonline.com forward slash podcast. That's it. Simple as that. Fill in your email address because I have to give you your personal access because I don't want everyone just having it. I only want people who are committed, committed to this podcast, committed to making the world a better place, committed to making themselves a better person, to show the world who they are, to follow their passion, go on their missions, their adventures, and make this little old planet Earth a better place to live in, to be the example you want to be in yourself and others. So if you do, go there, Name goes nowhere else other than for you to get more emails and more more things like this. The gift of hypnosis and some other stuff. So I've got lots of different things I'm thinking about doing. I don't flood you with emails, just maybe one a month. And we'll see. I hope you liked this little bit of, it's totally unscripted today. I just felt, I just want to talk about it and just see where we went. And I think we've, we've went in the white, <laughs> in the white direction. <laughs> Okay, Daffy. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's in, got you slightly intrigued, slightly curious. And know that, you know, if it resonates with you, hey, let's do it. Please give me your feedback. If you would, if you would share uh, your experience of your thoughts of this episode, other episodes, but also what you get out of that hypnosis track. I'd be 
intrigued myself to just understand how how wonderful the reactions you get, what re- wonderful reactions you get from it, the feelings you get, the understandings you get. That's what it's all about. You can do that. The email address, as you know fully well, feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. And if there's anything else you want, same email address. Just send me a note. You'll get a personal reply from me. I'll read them all. Hey, enjoy every heartbeat. Have more fun than you can stand. I'll speak to you soon. Paul Clough, Personal Development Unplugged. Just before you go, if you've just got a second or two, please have a listen. Why don't you share this? Share this podcast with just one person today and then one person tomorrow and one person after that. What would happen if we all did that? And why not subscribe? It's so easy to do. Find the platform of your choice. If it's iTunes or it's um, CastBox or any others, there's loads of them. Search for either Paul Clough or Personal Development Unplugged. And then there's a big subscribe button. Press that subscribe button. And it'll be there. You get the podcast twice a week on a Wednesday and a Saturday. Never have to look any further. And if you would, why not put one of those reviews up? Because that would be awesome. Because that just moves it around this this integrated field of learning as it were and becomes and gets in front of other people which is what we want isn't it to be the change we want to see in others and help others change to be the change they want to see in themselves there you go I'm going to speak to you real soon hope you enjoyed it have fun enjoy every heartbeat Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.